He has forgiven us what? All our transgressions. All those things that break the laws. How did he do that? He canceled out the certificate of debt, which is what? Consisting of decrees that are against us. What's he talking about there? He's canceling out the law. Yeah. Listen, I have a sin problem. The solution to that is not me not sinning. God says, I need to do something about that thing that's coming against you and making you feel alienated. So he takes the law, which was hostile to us, he has taken it out of the way. Not just, okay, I won't, we'll play by a different... No, he's not just rewriting the book. What's he doing? He nailed it to the cross. Yep. Christianity is the only theological system that deals with this. Where God is both just and the justifier. Most broken forms of religion either over-accent the sin and you're constantly trying to appease God. Right. Or they do the opposite. Oh, your sin's not a problem and there's no consequence. You know, you'll just work it off later. Both of those are inaccurate. In Christianity, it says in, in Romans 5, God was both just, no, that's wrong, it's got to be dealt with, hmm, and the justifier of those who have faith in Jesus. So he's both of those in the same person. You, that's really important. Did sin have a consequence? Yes. Either we or the lamb had to die. And if we don't accept the lamb, we have to die. But once you accept the lamb, now you are made alive and all that, sh not just the nakedness is taken care of, but the shame that goes with it. Whoa. Okay? 2 Corinthians 5, 8, 18 and 19. I'm just going to read the highlight points. This salvation is from God. Look at the, the last verse there. He's not counting their trespasses against them. 